Hello everyone, this is Fantasy Esk, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle with the Hunter family. When we left off in the previous episode, Haven Hunter gave birth to a set of twin girls, which was quite surprising. We have Luna Hunter and Harley Hunter joining the family, and we are kind of, I guess, not struggling to handle twin girls, but being a little bit overwhelmed, especially because Thor, their father, has recently aged up, literally just before they were born, into an elder. We have a dog Vine that's practically like a toddler 24-7, and we have a, a child by the name of Yule. Luckily, she's going to school. She's honestly the most independent member of the family. But we have a bunch of things to get done today, like take Vine to the vet. Remember that ex-con where the vet degree they never finished? Yeah. Well, they dealt with Vine's previous sickness and ended up giving him a new one instead. So we're going to go back, hopefully try and figure some things out, and Thor is going to be the one handling all of it. Why? Because Haven has to go to work pretty soon. It is almost 8.30 a.m. on Thursday morning. Yule is already off to school. Holly is crying. Don't worry, Holly. Your mother's on her way. Haven? Haven is going to quickly look after the crying the crying Holly and then she's gonna go off to work yep there we go don't worry Holly don't worry did we change dirty diaper man and that should be it I think it'll be time for her to go to work ah it's a tough life isn't it it is a tough life okay I will leave her to it there we go twin girls very tough and look look we have our sick alien dog. Remember in the previous episode when his tongue was literally going through his mouth? Kind of terrifying. He's also really dirty and messy, which is terrible. So, can you give him a bath super quick before you take him to the vet? Because I don't trust the vet to give this dog a bath and fix whatever issue he has. Let's try and minimize the problems as much as possible. <laughs> okay. Well, Haven's off to work. She's a junior drafts person. She needs to interview a homeowner about utilities, which she's done. I've gotten her to stay home the past few days to try and work from home, but we have been nowhere near as successful as just sending her off to work, so that's what I'm doing. I think it'll be okay if we have daily tasks, but it's a little bit overwhelming. Now for Thor, he actually needs to plant, look at that, a bug on another sim, and he needs the listening device at home. Can you give Vine a bath? Seriously. Give Vine a bath. I'll chuck this into the trash. Come on. You need to give Vine a bath. There we go. You can do it. You can do it. I'll give Vine a bath. Look at him. He looks so angry. <laughs> not on his own, like... Yeah, not because of anything he's done, just because of his sickness. He's got this bright red nose. He's got a bit of a sad look to him as well. Okay, let's keep running. There we go, performance gain, Yule. Keep running. Don't slack off. Okay, we're gonna give Vine a bath, and it's raining outside. That means they're gonna have puddles soon, and even more mess. Ah, oh, great. Okay, luckily the girls are sleeping. And was there anything else I was supposed to get done? Oh yeah, we need to figure out. Luckily, they do have a little bit of money coming in through the royalty reports from all the vlogging and stuff they did before we started this LP in Strangerville. Now, I am wondering where the hell we can go ahead and fit our station. Oh yeah, so I think I said... Hmm. See, this doesn't have a covering either, so that's going to be a bit tough. Hmm. Unless we make this a whole room. I think that's what I'm going to do. So guys, we're going to jump into a little bit of a build session here. I am going to move... I'm going to sell these things. Why? Because we don't use them. And I want this space instead to become a... A separate, like a whole room. This is going to be a whole other room. There we go. And then, actually, in the future, if I want, I can always expand the room this way. Over the little um, veranda we have out back. But okay, we have our room. Do we have a roof? No, we don't. Let's... Can we pop in a roof somehow? Hold on a second. 
Um, I think this is the way we go. Is that it? I think so. There we go. And a lot of second guys. There we go. What's this little thingamajig? I want the trim. Is that the really tiny half wool? Hold on a second. I'm experimenting here. There we go. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Nice. So we have that all squared away. We want the plastered style everywhere. Yes, thank you. And I would like that... Oh no, I want the trim. Give me the trim. Where's the... There we go. Well, nice. And just like that. I could actually, I guess, get rid of this section. Two, three. Nice. Look at that. Doesn't that look flippin' cute? Okay. And now, can I squeeze in some windows? I want a window there. I want a window there. And we will not put a window on this side because we have a little bit of a mill going on. Okay, excellent guys, look at that! Doesn't this look much nicer than it was before? And we've managed to introduce some new space! Okay, I want the plastered walls on the inside as well. And yes, we'll keep the door over there. I don't mind keeping that particular door, even though it's, it's a big door. Might change it out actually. Let's put in one of these ones. There we go, that fits just about nice. Might even swap it around. There we go, see that looks better. And let's get some nice wood flooring. And I'll pop in a pretty light. Well, the light itself isn't pretty, but it's giving us some good sunshine. Okay, and now let's get the flip and listening device that I've been wanting to. What's this? Oh, this is a bunch of the stuff we fabricated. How fun is that? Okay, besides the point, we need to find a listening device with chair. There we go. All this room. How fun. We've got all this room for it to fit in. That makes me happy. Okay, so this is going to be um, his office. His little office, which I really like. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay. Where do I want to pop this and how do I want to pop it in? I think this one works just about fine. I think right in the middle maybe. Right over there in the middle would be good. Yeah. I think that's pretty decent. And then we can switch things around. Or we can use the space to add some more stuff depending on what's needed and when it's needed. Hmm... Actually, can I get rid of this chair? I like this one here. This one's a nice chair. What other shades do they have? They have a lighter tone. Mm, that's like in between. I guess this one works fine. Hmm. I'll pop that in. And... Um... Even a gray chair. We could have a gray chair. That actually works out fine. See, this is a serious place. So, I'm happy for that to be in. We'll leave it like that, and then in the future, if I want to put in any other deco stuff, I guess some of the things we've made, let's see if we can pop them in. What's this? This is a bookshelf. This is a cute fabricated bookshelf, I will not lie. It's cute. Okay, can I pop this? If I shove this further back this way. Look at that! That fits in that corner quite nicely. Okay, you know what we need? I need move objects on, so BB, move objects on, thank you. We want it to, there we go, I want to make use of the space as much as possible. Oh, look at that, that is really moving, moving and grooving in our space. Oh, it's clipping a little bit. There we go. See, that's a better use of space. So that makes me happy. We've managed to fit in a bookshelf. Can we move it further back, actually? 
feel like this bookshelf needs to be moved further back. There we go. See, that looks nice. Okay, coolios. We have a bookshelf. What else do we want to put in? Um, we have a table light lamp. I guess we could fit in the bookshelf. Because we have nowhere else to fit it. Um, we'll leave it in that corner. Why not? And... Oh yeah, he stole the tinkering table, didn't he? He stole the... Oh jeez, we've got all these dirty dishes. Get rid of. I've got a little porcelain pal, which is kind of cute. We could try and shove him somewhere up here. I guess we could. Can we shrink him? Oh, look at him. He looks so cute. We'll put him there. And we'll put in this centerpiece flower over there, I think. We'll shrink it a bit so it's not falling off. And then... Let's see if we can try and squeeze in this table. This is a bit of a messy workplace. But... Sometimes you just gotta do things. And then we even got some important paper clutter. Which we will try and... Shove up there. Yeah, those are some notes and stuff that he managed to grab. So this is a bit of a weird spot, but this, well, this is going to be Thor's private little workplace that only he has access to, only he goes into. Obviously, he doesn't want his children to be exposed to this weird alien stuff that they have up here. So this is kind of like the off, like, um, off-bounds area, forbidden area. I think Haven... Uh, knows it's his work room, so she lets him be, but he probably sneaks all of this stuff in that Haven would be uncomfortable with when she's not home, is what I like to imagine. So let's lock door for everyone but Thor, so only Thor can come in here. I mean, look at this! What child wouldn't be freaked out if they saw that in their father's study? My goodness! So we have a public study um, over here, which the kids use, and Haven uses, but this is going to be... This is gonna be Thor's spot. So let's purchase some bugs. Maybe we can go and plant bugs in that convict who's supposed to cure our dog. Okay, we'll grab four of these because it's good to have a uh, supply. And then as soon as he's done bathing Vine, we are gonna take him and Vine off to the, um, the questionable clinic. And then we'll also plant some stuff, a listening device, because that's where he got that experiment table so i don't know what kind of things that ex-convict experiments on but it's got something to do with his career obviously because he is an evidence eraser so okay we're gonna take oh geez now the kids are crying holly holly what's wrong holly holly's crying let's go bounce her let's go feed her and bounce her luckily luna's doing just fine we'll go tend to them super quick We'll eat out as well. Otherwise, we're just going to stay home the entire time. Jeez, Holly's a tough baby. Luna's a very nice one, though. Luna's a very easy baby to take care of. Is she the one? Yeah, this was Holly. Holly was the one crying. Okay. We're going to take Vine to the clinic. Vine, let's go. Let's go, boy. Whose birthday is it? Oh, the twins are aging up tomorrow. Well, that's pretty quick. How convenient. Don't eat, you need to take Vine to go see that ex-con. The ex-con vet that works at um, Port Promise. So let's go to the questionable clinic and take that opportunity to also plant a bug on that person. And we'll see what sort of secrets we can gather from them. So I'm kind of glad we're re-establishing ourselves because... It's kind of tough to just have... Look, this is the person. This is the person. Iosefina. You screwed up our dog. Fix him. Um, let's do a military introduction. A military introduction. There we go. And then you need to plant a bug on her. Look at that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and plant bug. Let's go plant this bug. Come on. There we go. 
He's about to plant a bug on her. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second, guys. This makes me remember how much fun Strangerville was. Honestly, I had so much fun playing Strangerville. I haven't had that much fun in a long time with a pack that hasn't been magic related. But, uh, I flippin' loved Strangerville. It was so good. So, so good. But okay. So we're getting all of this done. And I think we're gonna have a productive day here. Makes me super happy. Okay. Let's go ahead. She's not even gonna know a thing. Okay, excellent. Yep. If she spills any important information, we have everything on. And if she has any sort of... Um, whatchamacallit? Any secrets, we'll find those out as well. And who's this? Kira. Since when do we have hair that long? Damn. I did not realize we had hair that was that long. I'm not used to having hair that long in The Sims. This is a cute dog, by the way. Kaya. Okay, let's go ahead and sign Vine in for curing sickness. Vine, my boy, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. But this is literally the only place we can take you to to get all fixed up. Even though I have a feeling this place gave you another problem while they were fixing you from your previous one. But, okay, let's go ahead. We're back. And see what can be done. Did they, um... Okay, so they refilled some pet items. Can we purchase some pet items? Let's, let's go ahead and check. Okay. But yeah, this is pretty much where we stole the that equipment the lab stuff from with the alien because I mean come on it's Thor if anything's alien related he's gonna be onto it let's see if we can who's this we're chatting with Kira Guerra let's see what pet items we have in store oh we have a whole bunch of stuff a wellness treat we have stinkinator <laughs> uh, swamp water taffy Ugh. That's disgusting. Okay. Scorching cinnamon stew. I mean, chew. Mm, pets eat it, then for a spicy surprise. Poop randomizer. Um, okay, this one's really cool. We could get some, like, gold poop and stuff. Cooler than liquid nitrogen nutrition bar. Okay, well. Ambrosia pet treat. Ooh, so this resurrects your pet. We've got an age up and age down treat. I kind of want to get this randomizer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, why not? We'll get one of them. Just just for fun. We'll get one of them. Okay. I have a feeling. Maybe. I think this vet gave our dog probably a cool the nitrogen treat. Or something like that. Okay. Fine. We'll fill the bowl for you. Actually, no. We'll, we'll get you a... Um... Oh, fine. Can we go ahead and... Well, we're waiting for the vet. Give vet treats. Actually, no. We want to give the randomizer when he's at home. Can we feed him something? We'll give him a treat. Because that's five dollars and that's gonna... I mean, five simoleons and that's gonna deal a little bit with his hunger. Rather than spending forty to fill up the food bowl at the vet's place. I mean, jeez. What kind of vet is this? We already know what kind of vet it is. Even so, guys. Even so. Okay, there we go. I think he feels much better. Are you gonna take Vine up now? Yep, I think she's gonna take up Vine. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's see. We'll get him to receive his treatment. Did you just... Did he just steal the bowl? I kind of love that. <laughs> He stole the bowl. You don't need an extra bowl, Thor. You really don't. But he stole it nonetheless. I mean, okay, I guess we'll sell it when we go back home. That is so funny. He stole the pet's bowl. <laughs> the, vet, the bowl at the vet clinic. He stole it. My goodness. Okay. Well. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Who else is coming on by? Someone else with their pet. Oh, we've got a pet cat. Bo. And we have Casey Rita. Oh, let's have a look. What's going on with you guys? Expensive treatment, of course. This is the second time. I have a feeling that this questionable clinic gives your pet a sickness as soon as it cures your pet of one, just so you can keep coming back and it can get lucrative money. Oh my goodness. There you go. There you go, Vine. Well, there, that look! Vine's as good as new. I don't know for how long, but at least for a little bit. Okay, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.